Hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Carla's Calorie Crush week, I don't know where we are, year two, week five. I had a much better week despite being away two days. You may remember that in last week's Calorie Crush video I told you guys that I was going away on two separate trips for one night each. So we went to Devon, we spent one night in Devon, so we had two days either side of that one night in Devon, and then I went to Nottingham and had two days either side of the one night in Nottingham. And I was a little bit apprehensive about making good choices again, really. I, I must be honest and say that I didn't make entirely good choices. There was a little bit of fudge, a little bit of fudge. But I did overall mostly stay within my calories most days of the week, and I certainly ended the week within my calories. I think it's important to remember that 2,000 calories a day, 14,000 calories a week, it doesn't have to be exact, it's, it's, a, it's a ballpark and if I'm within it for the week then it, then it levels itself out, you know? If you're going to do a 20 mile journey and you said I'm going to do 10 miles per day and you only did 9 miles one day but you did 11 miles the next day, you would still have achieved what you set out to achieve. So it was a much better week. I won't say that it's easy to make good choices when you're away, um, particularly if, like me, You've lived your life making those poor choices, but I didn't do too badly. Um, having a look at the overall week, I was 600 over on Wednesday. That's the day that we actually went away. I ended 600 calories over, and I'm not sure what it was that tipped me that day. Bear with. Biscuits. Should have guessed it'd be biscuits. If something tips me, it's always cake or biscuits. It was biscuits. I woke up Wednesday morning, I was extremely stressed. I had not left enough time for the things I needed to do. I'd overslept. I'd overslept by an hour. So I had planned enough time for the things that I needed to do before leaving the house Wednesday morning but I'd overslept by an hour and then I didn't have enough time and I definitely stress eat if I am stressed I definitely go I deserve something nice to make me feel better about how stressed I am and I had biscuits that's what tipped me over for the day but I was quite pleased that I didn't I had the biscuits first thing biscuits for breakfast and old old me or, or usual me would go well that's it the day's ruined there's no point trying and I didn't do that I did manage to hang on to the rest of the day so that was okay we had a nice time away one thing I made this week um not relating to our time away I made my own soup for my own tomatoes that I grew in the garden um, which felt like a real achievement that I had grown this meal from almost start to finish it had two red peppers in it and I hadn't grown those but you know <laughs> that I had I had grown this item and consumed it and yeah, and, and actually it was really nice. I mean, everybody tells you that soup is simple to make, but this was really simple. It was chop up some red peppers, chop up some tomatoes, throw some seasoning in, stock cube and some water, voila, soup. It was really nice. I'm going to make some more. And it was incredibly low calorie. I don't know what they put in soups when they put them in the tin. I suppose what I'm thinking of is that I would have Heinz cream of tomato soup. And I think the key word there is probably cream, isn't it? I didn't put cream in mine. I had tomato and red pepper soup, a little bit of garlic. It was absolutely delicious. And I have... As I said I would, avoided bread almost entirely this week. Not quite. I had to make a conscious thing about the bread because I didn't realise how much I had got back into the habit of having bread. The bread had de definitely got back into my diet. When I first began this weight loss plan a year ago and a bit, I, I practically cut out bread because I knew that bread and me don't get on. I had the little King's Mill 50-50 bread which is about 56 calories a slice and that was all I ever had and I only have to ever had two slices of that. Somewhere within this conversation about you can eat whatever you want within your calories I forgot that bread and me don't get on. I overlooked that. So you can eat whatever you want within your calories provided you don't go over your calories you're provided you're in a calorie deficit you will lose weight. However I know for me that bread makes me bloat and it makes me retain water. I know this. This has been proven to me hundreds of times in the past. So why did I forget that? Why did I forget that? I think that me and bread were okay again. We're not okay. This week I have made a conscious effort to avoid bread and there's been times when I've had to stop myself. There's times when I've been going, oh, I think I'll have the so-and-so sandwich. Oh, no, I won't. I'm not having the bread. I did have bread on Wednesday night. Um, we we were staying in Devon, we were staying at the bed and breakfast and we just bought stuff to make sandwiches because we found it extremely difficult actually for where we were to find a little shop. And in the little shop, we, we didn't have a lot of what, what would be useful for snacks. And so I bought bread without thinking and had sandwiches without thinking. It wasn't until afterwards I went, oh, I wasn't supposed to be having bread. Let's have a look at the food diary. You can see what I ate all week. And then we'll I'll go and jump on the scales and we'll see if all of all of this bread avoiding has paid off. 
Monday's breakfast was toast with butter and jam. To be fair, this was before I decided I was going to try to avoid bread. 371 calories. Lunch was a KFC fillet box meal for 1,045 calories. Tonight's dinner is fresh homemade tomato soup. So fresh that three hours ago these tomatoes were still on the plant in the garden. The entire bowl, 97 calories. Monday's snacks. Six Fox's Biscuits, 384 calories. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, 315 calories. And a Coconut Saint Bar, 97 calories. Total of 796. Breakfast on Tuesday, I have got a three egg omelette with one slice of cheese and some ham in it and some strawberries and apples. Total 441 calories. Tuesday lunch is a tuna layered pasta salad. It is 367 calories. I also had a Saint Bar, 97 calories. For my dinner tonight, I am having half a pack of, oh, this just exploded from the microwave, half a pack of this pulled pork and barbecue sauce, which I got from Home Bargains and and that comes to about 300 calories, 286 I think. And then I'm having a pack of this riced sweet potato, which may well be awful. That came from Aldi and cost about £1.50, so I hope it's not awful, because I don't think that's expensive, isn't it, if it's nasty. The entire pouch will be 100 calories. Dessert, which may not look very appealing, that's a mug cake, and I've got 120 grams of Oppo ice cream. 198 calories. So it's um, 9 o'clock, and I've actually got 500 calories left for the day. I'm not going to eat 500 calories, but I'm going to have some Ringo's for 59 and some rice cakes for 123. Wednesday breakfast, packet of Fox's biscuits, 640 calories. Lunch, five ounce steak and chips with peas that you can't see on this plate, 765 calories. Seaside ice cream, 254 calories. Evening meal, ham and cheese spread sandwiches, quavers, small cake, Kit Kat, 1,070 calories. Thursday breakfast was poached eggs, sausage, beans, bacon. I didn't eat the tomatoes. I had orange juice as well. 433 calories. Lunch was a Green King Pub's fish and chips dinner for 1,515 calories. The only other thing I ate on Thursday was a chunky Kit Kat, 166 calories. Friday breakfast, fried egg, hash brown, beans, sausage, bacon and mushrooms, 456 calories. Lunch, such as it was, a piece of light fruit cake and a small pan of chocolat, 398 calories. Evening meal, 8 ounce rump steak with salad and a jacket potato. I also had butter and mayo, a total of 806 calories. Saturday, a Weatherspoon small breakfast with an extra fried egg, an extra hash brown and an extra sausage. Sausage and hash brown not shown on plate as they were Lex's. 808 calories. Saturday evening meal, rump steak again with jacket potato and salad, 806 calories. I also had a piece of light fruit cake for 215 calories. Sunday breakfast, bacon, sausage, egg, mushrooms, hash brown and beans, 590 calories. And Sunday lunch, roast beef dinner, 850 calories. Kinder Coconut Bueno, 231 calories. Last week I weighed 285 pounds. Monday, scales time. I hope you've had a good week, Mary Berry. It's 282.2, which I round up to 282 and a half. That is a loss of two and a half pounds, and I am almost chuffed to bits. I'm very pleased with the two and a half loss. Very pleased indeed. Why only almost chuffed to bits? Because two and a half takes me to a total loss of six stone. 13 and a half pounds. Half a pound away from that next stone. Half a pound away from having lost seven stone. So I'm almost chuffed to bits, but gosh darn it. <laughs> half a stone. Half a pound, not half a stone. Let's put these on. There we go. Six stone, 13 and a half pounds. I am half a pound away from seven stone. I absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, unquestionably, there's no arguing. I'm getting that half a pound off this week. I bloody am. I, I, I'll be homicidal, suicidal and lots of other kind of suicidals if I don't manage it. I will. I will do that this week. I'm sticking with this try to avoid bread. Having said that, today is Monday. I've had a Subway 
um, six inch bread thing for breakfast today but I'm going to try and avoid bread the rest of the week. <laughs> I like bread, I wish it liked me. It's so convenient. But yeah, I am very, very pleased to have lost six stone 13 and a half pounds. I would be slightly more pleased if I'd lost seven stone. I'm very pleased that things are coming back together and hoping that I can hang on to that and keep it going. It's been a busy week. It's not been a very active week. As I was saying, we've been away two days. I've done an awful lot of driving. I don't, driving's not a particularly physical activity, is it? I probably spent a good 20 plus hours in the driving seat this week, which is um, 20 hours of not not moving around very much so I was really extra pleased to find that I'd lost two and a half pounds because I felt like my activity levels hadn't hadn't warranted much of a loss really pleased with that thank you as always for all of your support and well done to all of you who are doing well yourselves a little shout out to those of you who are struggling believe me I know how that feels but all you can do is keep on plodding onwards keep on trying every day you try is a day you didn't fail before I go, I would like to just draw attention to the beautiful glasses I am wearing. These are the latest pair that I have had from Zimpf. I will put the details on the screen and in the description box. These were gifted to me by Zimpf. I think they're lovely. I went for a completely different colour. These, as you can see, are a lovely bright blue. I almost always go for a reddish colour to go with my hair or a brown. But I went for this lovely bright blue and I really love them. I think they're gorgeous. So thank you so much to Zimpf for... Um, gifting me these. I would tell you the name if I could remember. I don't know what the name of these ones are but I'll put that on the screen as well. Thank you so much to Zimp. There is a discount code for any of you guys who would like to go and order yourself glasses from Zimp. Their prices start at something like 9 95 It's crazy crazy low prices. The service is amazing. All the packaging is recyclable so no more plastic glasses boxes that you don't know what to do with years later. And they've got thousands of beautiful frames. So thank you to Zimp for these and I will reverse back again. I will be back next week with Carla's Calorie Crush week six. Year two, week six. Thank you for joining me. Here's to that half a pound that's coming off this week. It really is. It is. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.